Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing something slightly different. Actually, no, scrap that. We're going to be doing something a lot different. Let's just... We are going to be filming the video over here. Um, my computer's like right here, by the way. Um, this is technically a table video. You just can't see the table, so... A lot of reasons to be excited. <laughs> I don't know if you're okay with the microphone taking up like half the screen or the fact the acoustics are worse on this side of the room, but I, I mean, the decision's been made, like we can't go back now. So you might remember a few weeks ago, I did a video reacting to the worst TikTok theories on TikTok and it did really well. Thank you so much for the support. Anyway, I bring it up because as you know, if a video does well, I am obliged to make a sequel, but I kind of wanted to change it up a bit. I didn't want to just go through more of them. I thought, how about I put my money where my mouth is. <laughs> Sorry, that's the best joke I've ever made. I've got all this money left over from when I was in America and it's just, what am I supposed to do with it? I'm using it as a prop now. Where was I going with that? Oh yeah, so basically I made it seem like what they were doing was really easy. They were just taking these bad theories, posting them onto TikTok and getting millions of views. And it got me thinking, is it actually that easy? So this week, I decided I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm going to be making theories on TikTok for the whole week. It's Monday today, it's day one. And yeah, I guess on Sunday, we're gonna see if this was a success. So I've already got a TikTok account, as I mentioned in the last video, and said I had no plans to ever use it, which I guess I'm going back on. But this is for a video, so does it really count? No, it doesn't count. As of recording, I have just over 500 followers on here, so it's a bit of a head start, but it isn't massive under today's standards. And I mean, most of the people I reacted to had hundreds of thousands of followers, more than I have on YouTube. And because all of those followers have come from a video of me criticizing theories like this, I can't imagine this is instantly gonna go down well. So just to not raise suspicion too much, the first theory and the theory I'm gonna do today is one of my own that I'm not too proud of anymore, but I know did well and Screen Rant took it once and it also did well for them. I'm gonna do Riley's mum committed credit card fraud. So yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's just get on with it. Okay, so we're gonna try and record up against this uh, blue wall. I think TikTok actually has a feature where it just blurs out the background for you, but I mean, this is gonna help, surely. And I feel like half this video is just gonna be me, at least today, half of it's gonna be me just working out how to use TikTok, because, um, okay, I'm on the TikTok page. I look like such an old man. Effect, it's there. That, that was really easy, I should've, I should've clocked onto that. So, okay, upload your own video. To, to change the background. Okay, perfect, that's what I need. So remember this scene from Inside Out where Riley stole her mother's credit card? Well, what if I told you it was never her mother's credit card to begin with? How do I change the background? Guys, I'm really struggling to work out TikTok right now. Um, I might have to turn the camera off. It's dark now. This has taken way longer than anticipated. Like I set out to make the clips to go in the background for the TikTok, and then I had a great idea while I sat down. Why don't I just record the TikTok with a green background and then add the clips in later on my editing software? So I did that and it looked awful. So I went back to square one, making the clips to go in the background of the TikTok and my computer just decided it hates me for some reason and just crashed like every 30 seconds while I was trying to do this. It was a very easy job that could have taken five minutes, that ended up taking an hour. But I have now got all three clips that I need for the TikTok on my phone, ready to use for the TikTok, and I can finally record it and finally upload it. This has only taken four hours. Disney Theories episode one. So I've officially finished the TikTok, and honestly, I actually think it kind of came out quite well. It doesn't look like I spent four hours on it. It should have taken 30 minutes, and I do think I'm going to get a lot faster at this. It was just, it was the first one, so I give myself some leeway. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to post it. Um, I just need to, like, sort out some of the trimming and get some text on the screen for it. I, so there's still some things i got to work out. I'm just looking up the hashtags the guys who uh, did the initial videos that brought my attention to this used. So I can kind of um, replicate that. Theory, yeah, 285 million views, we're mad. Is, oh wow, that is a lot. Yeah, okay, so FYP is a good hashtag to use, I take it. But yeah, let's do it, let's do it. My, my, my thing is uploaded. Okay, it's got no views. This is the finished copy. Remember this scene in Inside Out where Riley stole her mum's credit card? Well, what if I told you it was never her mum's credit card to begin with? 
It's been confirmed by Disney that the name on the credit card is Kay Ann Anderson. Riley's mum's name is Jill Anderson, spelt with an E, whereas K Ann Anderson is spelt with an O, and also Jill doesn't begin with a K, so they're clearly different names. So, who is K Ann Anderson? None other than Bonnie Anderson's mum from Toy Story. Yes, Riley's mum from Inside Out stole Bonnie's mum from Toy Story's credit card. So, like, I've definitely exaggerated at points during this period, like, confirmed by Disney. I mean, it isn't, but, you know, we're gonna pretend this is what they all do. They pretend they're facts rather than theories, and we're just, we're, we're kind of going with that. Obviously, again, it's still got nothing. I, I, was, I, I was kind of expecting it to go up. There are a bit of, like, gaps between some clips because I couldn't work out how to trim them, and that's gonna bug me, but it's not the worst first video. I'll see you later tonight with another update, and yeah. <laughs> just got a text from Begod at 3.03 in the morning. It's like... 307 right now. So just of a screenshot of my TikTok on his for you page. And it has 4,000 views and a thousand likes. I was gonna try a more experimental stuff tomorrow, but maybe my formula works. Anyway, my voice is going. I need to go to sleep, but I will see you tomorrow. It's day two. I was surprised by the success of my TikTok at three in the morning last night, so I'm gonna have a second check. I haven't checked since then. I'm kinda nervous. Let's go, let's go. 17,000 views! Oh, that's actually really good! 400 followers gained on the first day isn't half bad. We just need to one-up it with the next one. So I'm just gonna go through the comments, see what people are saying. So the top comment is Vegard, that says, I was so confused seeing this on my For You. Welcome, Seamus. I guess, like, it is weird it popped up on Vegard's For You page, because before today he didn't follow me on TikTok. Remember when Seamus said he wouldn't ever do a TikTok? Okay, guys. It's for a video, it doesn't count. Someone said, I haven't seen you in years. I think I'm still sub to your YouTube, though. Thanks for letting me know. There, there's always the kind of comments I want to read, you know? Thanks. Uh, today, I'm planning on doing the Boo is Andy's mum theory. You know, the theory that got me into debunking in the first place. So I've got a bit more of a plan today. I think I'm going to get it done a lot quicker. Um, I'm basically, I want to Google up the original uh, theory. Like, see how it's written out. Hey, my video comes up. I need to get those images and I'll be there. I am at over a thousand followers on TikTok now, and my last post has 19,000. So, the obvious target for this one is to break 20,000, maybe even more. Let's see, let's just. The world's our oyster. Disney Fury Episode 2. So in Toy Story, we often see Andy with this red hat, which is interesting because his favorite toy at the time, Woody's hat, was brown. Then it gets even more interesting when you realize this hat was also worn by Jesse's original owner in Toy Story 2. A lot of people have since concluded that this must mean that Jesse's original owner is actually Andy's mum. Further proven by the fact the hat wasn't given away with Jesse. And it gets even better because Jesse is seen in Boo's room in Monsters Inc. Meaning that Boo is actually Andy's mum. That is another TikTok done. I don't know if this one's that much better. The content might have more viral ability though. Viral ability, yeah, that made sense. Okay, so I have finished work for the day and I'm about to do the nighttime check of how many views does the TikTok have? And it is sat on 4,500 views, which is kind of similar to yesterday if I'm honest with you. I uploaded it a bit earlier than yesterday, so to me that says it's not doing as well as yesterday. It's still done well, but I wanted to like take it another step further, see if we could get even more views, and it's like, that that's the target. We want to see how many we can get in a week. Hi, it's day three. I have been filming another video all day today, and it's 10, and I need to do my TikTok. I asked on my Discord server last week to like suggest some bad theories for me to do, and I'm just gonna nick one for this video today. If you wanna join my Discord server, you can by clicking the link in the here. I feel like I went too extreme in the direction of like, of course Seamus doesn't believe this yesterday. So this one's a theory connecting Wreck-It Ralph and Big Hero 6, you know that girl, I'm saying that she grows up to be Honey Lemon, I think. Is that her name? One second. I, I, see, I, I need to do my research on this one. Um, Honey Lemon. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna write out the script, get the clips ready, and we'll record the TikTok. I'll see you there. My first TikTok is up to 40,000. Okay, that's like, that's like now the, the, the kind of focus on me. Yeah, that's kind of like the target for the rest of them. If I can get one to 100k, I'm so happy. It's also, am I right? 
10,000 likes. It's got 10,000 likes. Come on. Disney Fury episode free. Free. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of funny though. So do you guys remember this girl from Wreck-It Ralph that we meet playing Hero's Duty? Just brace yourself. You're going to be shocked. She grows up to be Honey Lemon from Big Hero 6. So I guess you could say all that time playing Hero's Duty helped prepare her for the real time as a big hero. This one's kind of kind of short but sweet, and I feel like it's all about testing the water in these early couple days. Like you want to know if like a short one's gonna do well or a longer one's gonna do well. Like some of the ones I watched the other day were really brief. So let's hope this one does well, and I can report back to you that we've got another big TikTok. You know what time it is? It's time for day four. It's been another very long day. That's why I'm starting late. Tomorrow things will be better. And oh my god, I have uh, 999 notifications. So that's a good sign. Wow. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> the views just keep flying. So my account is now up to 2,798 followers, which is just insane. That's over 2,000 followers gained already. My first TikTok is now up to 84,600 views and 20,000 likes, what? And my short but sweet TikTok from day three is almost at 60,000 with nearly 10,000 likes. A lot of people are now watching them who don't follow me and are just fully believing it. I know people are gonna be like, well, you have a following already. This isn't that impressive, but it is because I mentioned my TikTok in a video a few weeks ago and only gained 500 followers from it. And like, I only have 30,000 or so followers on my Twitter and Instagram. So it's not like I have a massive overlap in terms of people who love going to follow me on my other social medias. So I'm impressed, I'm happy with this. I'm gaining like, a few followers a minute. I wish my YouTube channel was growing this quickly. <laughs> so today we're doing a little mermaid theory, specifically one where I can put my knowledge of the prequel to good use, and it's a theory that Captain Hook killed Ariel's mum because her mum was killed by pirates, and that's about it. Disney Theory Episode 4. So I'm sure you remember from The Little Mermaid that Ariel's dad was a single parent, but what if I told you her mum was killed by none other than Captain Hook? Crazy, right? But it's not, because in the prequel to The Little Mermaid, we find out that Ariel's mum was literally killed by pirates. And when Peter Pan and Wendy meet the mermaids in Peter Pan, what is the one thing that scares them off? None other than Captain Hook. Oh my god, the, the evidence for this one is so minimal, I feel Kind of bad. Okay, so I don't get why all the people who realize I'm doing this for a video are commenting. Seamus, we know this is for a video. Like, be cool, okay? We're trying to trick people. You've got to play along, okay? We can't just, like, comment this and make it clear to everyone that they're being tricked. We've got to, you've got to play along with me, okay? The one I uploaded tonight is already at nearly 12,000 views. The one I uploaded yesterday is at 75,000 now. The one I uploaded the day before is probably going to have 100,000 when I wake up. I might hit 4,000 followers tomorrow the way I'm going. But I guess we'll see. I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. It's been an insane night. TikTok is so easy. Okay, it is day five and I'm not going to lie to you. It is going absolutely fantastically. My TikTok stands at over 4,000 followers. I think the last time we checked in, I had just hit 3,000 followers. I am more than a thousand since then. So I've done a little bit more thinking today about what I want to post, and I think I've worked out what does better and what doesn't do better. Basically, my theories to do with more modern films seem to do better. Like my first one was to do with Inside Out, that came out in 2015, and it did really well. Then my second one was to do with Monsters Inc. and Toy Story 2, which were a bit older films, and it didn't do as well then. My third one, Big Hero 6 and Wreck-It Ralph, does really well. Modern films. I don't know if it's just because younger people dominate TikTok and therefore they grew up with these more modern films like Inside Out and Wreck-It Ralph and Big Hero 6. And I mean, I literally see people with profiles and names that have 2010 or 2011 in their uh, like at on TikTok. And I'm like, were you born in 2010? Can people be born in 2010? Yeah, I will. It makes it much easier to pick and choose which films I'm gonna do my theories on. So next, I'm gonna do a theory on Frozen. I, I basically, I've worked out the formula with this, is just find a decent idea that has no evidence for it. So like, if there was the evidence for it, it would be a good theory. But it's just the idea. And then just post the idea. No evidence needed, and, and you're good. And that's what I'm doing. I'm saying Hans is related to the brothers whose names I need to look up from Tangled. And yet, that, that's it. I've just gone on and I had over 99 notifications, so that's how you know you're doing well. Disney Theory Episode 5. I'm just, what am I gonna do tomorrow? 
when I'm on episode more than fingers I have on one hand? Am I going to have to, like, put two hands up at once? I'm just, I haven't thought of this. This is, no, it's all going wrong. So I'm sure you remember that Hans from Frozen had 12 older brothers. But what if I told you we meet two of them in another Disney film? Because just looking at the Stabbington brothers from Tangled, the resemblance is uncanny. The hair, the sideburns, the willingness to do anything to rise to power. It makes me wonder, do we meet any of his brothers in any other Disney films? Yeah, I'm just trying to play the algorithm at this point. Like, I feel like I've got the formula down. I just need to get people commenting, interacting with the video so it gets recommended to more, so I get more views. It's all just a never-ending formula. Oh, I just set the- f I forgot to set a thumbnail for this one. So it's just me. Oh, can you change that at a later date? I don't think you can. I don't think you can edit these after they've gone live. There are so many people in the comments actually believing it. And I feel like now my following is a mix between people who actually know me from YouTube and people who have just found this TikTok account. Just about to go on TikTok. Let's see how we are doing. 4,798 followers. My TikTok that I've uploaded tonight has got 8,551 views. My one from day three is at 150k now. I don't even know if these are that impressive on the grand scheme of TikTok, but I think they're impressive, so I'm choosing to be impressed. Hello, it's day six. The one I did yesterday, despite my belief that I'd cracked the algorithm, didn't actually do that well. But I don't know, maybe 25,000 views at this stage is good. I just assume it because it doesn't have 175,000 views it hasn't done well the top comment on this one is wait but rapunzel was in frozen so you must be right that also feels sarcastic i'm gonna do a moana theory again i'm just gonna look up some moana theories and we'll get to work the answer to the question you've all been waiting for how am i going to open this tiktok when i don't have six fingers watch disney theory episode six you see, that was kind of cool, right? So I know you guys all remember Moana's pet pig, Poor. I mean, how couldn't you? But did you know he's actually her dead grandfather? Firstly, we know people can come back as the animal of their choice after they die, as shown by her grandmother who comes back as a stingray. So what about her grandfather? Well, now let me remind you of this weird line from her grandmother earlier on. Whatever just happened, blame it on the pig. A strange accusation towards a harmless pig? Or a prank on her recently deceased husband. I've got 93 notifications since I uploaded that too, so, um, see what it has to say. Does he reply when you're early? I, I don't reply at all because I don't know how to. First, love your vids, by the way. Do you love my vids on TikTok or do you love my vids on YouTube? It's unclear. Do people, like, just know me as a TikToker now? Is that, is that what this is becoming? It's already got over 100 views and I will catch up with you tonight when it's probably got a few thousand. Okay, so tonight is an exciting night for the Seamus Gorman TikTok. As you can see, we have 5,999 followers, so about to hit 6,000 followers. That's just the first thing. But secondly, we're at 99,700 likes. Just gonna check. I'm at 6,000 followers now. That's crazy. My video tonight is at 9,000 views. I told you I'd get back to you when it had a few thousand views. Here we are. I've been thinking much more on like a followers and views count because I just, that's my YouTube brain. Whereas on TikTok, I guess it's more about likes, which aren't really that important on YouTube. Like I like to look at my likes on YouTube. So if you want to like this video, yeah, I got that in. It's a few minutes later. 100,000 likes. Yes, come on! I am the king of TikTok! I've been working all day on this other video, and this is the one thing that's going well. <laughs> it's the final day. Just a fair warning, today's upload might be a little late. I say that as if that's going to affect you in any way. It just, it might be after midnight, so we'll be working on American time. It'll be an American week. I don't actually know what I'm going to do as a TikTok today, but once I work it out, I will let you know. Today's all just gonna be one big rush, but yeah, I will see you once I'm sat down there. I don't know why I've got this light facing me when it should be facing the beautiful studio. The sun's out right now. I will be sitting right there. Disney Fury episode seven. So if you, like me, are a fan of Toy Story, you'll be all too familiar with Bonnie and more importantly, her toys. But have you ever wondered how she died? We know by the time of Wally, -E, all the humans have either died or left Earth on the Axiom, and when we get a look into his transport, we don't just see Rex lurking in there, but we also see him wielding a spork very similar to another character we know and love. Yeah, he killed her. Yeah, that is it. That is the final one, and here we go, it's live! Okay, the final update of the week's the moment of truth. 
748. Yeah, it's struggling. Maybe it'll do well overnight. We'll see, I guess. I got two comments in a row. One saying, oh, that actually makes sense. Another saying, that doesn't make any sense. Literally seconds apart, so... <laughs> no, you didn't prove anything though. You just showed Easter eggs. Please let this be for a video. I need to know why you think this. His guy's born in 2007. And that means he's 30. What the? I love you, Seamus. You're amazing. But this theory is mind blown. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired. Just let me go to sleep. I finished my video today. You should be applauding me. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can see you're clapping. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's been a week, as in another week, since I finished recording on day seven. So today is day 14, I guess. I mean, I haven't actually recorded another TikTok since day seven, but I thought to end this video off, I've got to go through the final numbers. So drum roll, please. I need to, I have my phone in my hand. Okay, cut the drum roll. I have 21,500 followers. Just what? The TikTok from day three now has over half a million views. I have 328,000 likes on my TikTok. All of the videos I posted last week have got over 50,000 views. Most of them nearly have 100,000. I think if you totaled up all the views together, I have easily crossed a million views. Well, I guess that answers the question from the start. Yes, I can do it. Getting success on TikTok was way easier than I expected. I've been told it's easy to get followers on TikTok before, but I didn't think it would be that easy without even mentioning it on my other social medias. Like, I I'm actually still quite shocked. It's weird because I've always been so vocal about my dislike towards bad theories in the past, but I kind of get it now. Because while there are people like me, and I'm guessing you as well, who enjoy theories, but they have to be well researched and in depth and make sense with the story, there's also a lot of people who just enjoy theories because they like theories, they're fun. It doesn't have to actually be that clever. It's just there. And I realize now after dipping my toes into it that there is a market for it and there always will be. So I'd much rather people be watching these TikTok videos and helping these new creators build a platform for themselves than, I don't know, watching a top 10 channel or something. So yeah, support TikTok creators while you can because in the time this video got made, it's turned out TikTok's actually gonna get shut down. So yeah, that was a twist ending that I didn't think was coming. <laughs> also, before I go, I just want to point out that my Wreck-It Ralph Big Hero 6 TikTok from day three has got 150,000 likes, which is kind of sad because none of my YouTube videos have ever even hit 50,000 likes. And I know they're not directly comparable, but can we fix that? Get this video to 150,000 likes. That's all. A special thank you to my patrons, Ali, Maddie, Yuhan, Chase, Christina, Haley, Jacob, Peter, Terry, Russ, Zach, Matt, Another Jacob, Amanda, Catherine, Rachel, Jonathan, Ben, Veronica, and Jaden. If you want your name here or are interested in any of my other Patreon rewards, make sure to check out patreon.com slash Seamus Gorman. And yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. You can check out another video by clicking here. You can check out my Patreon here and in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.